The Town Hall 15 meta has changed forever. In this video, you'll see the rank 1 player ABD crush bases with Queen Charge Hog Riders. Let's see how ABD decides to take down this base. So, coming in with Queen Charge Hog Riders, gonna be starting on this side, because look, this CC is kind of free, so it is a bit of a base building mistake there that will make this first hit a bit easier. But don't worry, he'll hit some bases later in this video that are not conducive to this army, but he still wrecks them anyway. One thing I really like about this army is you have so many hog riders to go looking for traps for the flame flinger. As you see, we find the Tesla there. But whilst the queen is dealing with the ice golem and the king, I want you to have a look at his spell comp because we are not bringing a heal spell. And I think that's the crucial thing to note in this attack. With hogs at the moment, you do not need heal spells. In fact, rage spells are stronger because even with the hit point buff, right, hogs aren't super tanky, but they get just tanky enough that they can last long enough where if you use a rage spell, they will take down the base so quickly. And that's the thing about hogs. Lalo, not a quick troop because obviously balloons are very slow as you see right here, but that hog rider is so fast. So if you bring a rage spell with it, you are set to go. Now, whilst this has all been happening, we funneled out this building here and wall broke for the king. King coming on the bottom side. Now, in these attacks, you will primarily see ABD not need the king for his queen. In fact, he's going to use the king to take down a defensive hero in almost every attack because obviously, defensive heroes are really bad for hogs. That defensive queen, especially if she's level 90, can probably two-shot a hog rider. One thing I'm going to point out before he starts his hogs... He always sends, so he brings, I believe, five loons with this army. He always tries to get some into, like, this area of the base behind the town hall. Because there's always red bombs and sams here. And he does a really good job of protecting his healers. So make sure you do that as well. King activates the rage tower, which is huge for us. And here comes the hogs. So we split them around. Notice he's still hanging on to about seven. He'll hang on to seven or eight most of the attacks today. And that is for the back end. But look, being super patient... The Eagle's hitting our RC, so we decide to just weather that hit. And look at this, the Rage Spell. But we've got two Rage Spells, and he's bringing the Skeleton Spell. So it's like a Queen Charge Lalo Spell Comp, but without the Haste Spell. And instead bring the Skeleton. And I mean, look at this. 20 seconds ago, the Hogs entered the base over here. And now they've gone straight through it. Admittedly, he did have two Rage Spells and a Skeleton Spell, but because you're not bringing a heal with this, you're kind of committing to investing one Rage with the Hog Riders, and you'll see consistently today that ABD, almost every attack, will be using a, uh, a Rage Spell with the Hogs because they get such good value. Like, yeah, in this attack, it's quite overkilled, obviously, but in a lot of the attacks today, you'll see he doesn't necessarily have a lot of Hog Riders left over, but you don't need it because they tank so well for the RC, and she can clean up what's left left. What you will see in this video today is every single attack ABD is going to be using the Flame Flinger. Flame Flinger, strongest siege in the game now uh, because, well, the blimp got nerfed into Oblivion, but we'll have some videos on that soon. Have a look at this though. Even with the defensive king here, because there's a Tesla farm, this is worthwhile value. We'll get quite a lot there with the Flame Flinger. Worth noting that Town Hall looks impossible to charge. So... ABD, not wanting to be too predictable, comes in with the Queen Charge from the top. But this means we're going to be sending Hog Riders through the Town Hall. And this is why this replay is in the video. Because I wanted to show you guys what that looks like. Yet again, using our King, not really to funnel the Queen in. Like, he's doing a little bit of funneling here. But mainly, he's just getting rid of a defensive hero. Ang nice angled healers. And I want to talk about what he's doing here. So we'll just let the Queen... Uh, pull out the entire CC, and you'll see why this charge is so smart. So look at this, right? We've obviously got the Rage Tower right here. Now, 90% of us would probably just try and charge through that open gap at the top and get in here, but the problem is this Rage Tower would go off, and you deal with the CC whilst under this Expo, this Expo, the defensive CC, and maybe two multi-infernos, and that is bad news for your Queen. Even with the buff to the Queen, nerf to the Rage Tower, that is still bad news. 
But because ABD comes in on this angle here, we get rid of the ground bow before we deal with the CC and whilst we're under the rage tower. And look at this, right? We still do need our healers raged, but our queen's not losing health. I feel like a lot of the time in the past, with two raged expos, even a rage spell of your own wouldn't be enough. Look at this really nice wall breaker coming in. Our king's doing great work over there, by the way. But yeah, wall breaker gets frozen, but that's fine. Comes in opens up the rage tower quickly before a lot happens worth noting this uh the flame flinger is going to go down but i mean look at that value that's really nice and obviously the yetis can come out and take down the defensive king so really nice and then this next wall breaker you see it coming in from the top we kind of missed it sorry about that but uh crazy wall break and it opens up the entire back end of the base now will this army work long term i don't know I don't know, because, like, if you run into a bunch of giant bombs and you don't have a heal, you're kind of forced to pop the warden early. And saying that, though, look at how early he's popped the warden here. The town hall poison effect, and I believe the bomb are going to hit here. Yeah, the bomb hits. The poison hits, but he just makes sure that not every single hog rider is uh, in on the town hall. He's got a few left, like we talked about in the first attack. And he just sprinkles them around the base. But this is mainly the queen. Like, this was a huge queen charge. Flame Flinger got really nice value. So did the king. And the hogs just have to burn through the base as quickly as possible. So I don't even think this army is necessarily the hogs being too strong. It's just how strong heroes and Flame Flingers are. And how consistently hogs can take down the rest of the base with just one rage spell. Because I, I think if you brought a heal with this, it would be weaker. Because, yeah... Bases just do too much damage, but when you have that rage spell, your hogs just go through the base so quickly in the warden ability. TK may never trust me again, but I'm sorry, TK. This attack was far too good. So let's keep up with what is happening. Box base here, but look, this town hall charge doesn't look as problematic for our queen charge. It's going to be awkward to funnel, but in terms of raw damage, it's not quite as bad. So we're going to go for the town hall. Like I'd suggest with queen charge hogs, wherever you can, Get the town hall down with either your king or your queen charge. You really don't want the hogs to have to deal with it. Really nice cocoa balloon there, but unfortunately doesn't quite pull the poison tower. But look at this hog. Beautiful. Gets two skeleton traps and the poison tower activation. And we know with this new update that that poison tower is going to take much longer to re-trigger. We'll see if it re-triggers in this attack. That wizard down the bottom is putting in insane work. Without it, our queen would almost certainly be walking. And have a look at this. Will his hard work on the final pay off? So the queen's shooting the mortar here. And yes, she pulls back. We have to freeze the town hall because obviously it's on our healers. And look at this wall break. I did not know that wall break was possible. That's a ridiculous wall break to me. Yet again, we're not really using the king to funnel our queen. Like, he kind of is, but our queen's already in the base. Just using our king to take out a defensive hero. This time it's the defensive king, and that's huge. That defensive king is uh, really hard to take down with just headhunters. So better to use your king or your queen to deal with him. Flame Flinger's doing awesome work on the bottom. The Flame Flinger doesn't have to take out the whole base, right? It's just got to take out enough. And I mean, look at this. Another two crazy wall breakers. Another two crazy wall breakers. Now, I want to talk about what he's doing here. Because you're going to see him do this in a few attacks. He actually starts the RC early. The RC with the skeleton spell's job is to get rid of the uh, RC here. So the remaining defensive hero for the hogs to deal with. Because obviously our yetis or the... Uh, or our queen will deal with the uh, defensive queen on the other side of the base that you see there. But we're going to do our RC. And she's just going to set a middle mini funnel here and tank for that. And just make the pathing super thin for these hogs. Because if the pathing is thin, they will run over the base so quickly. So look. Our, this queen charge is insane, by the way. Look at this. She's uh, dealing with a raged eagle and raged bows. And she's still alive. We do need the invis and a rage spell. But still, that's pretty nice. The Poison Lizard is not shooting at the defensive RC. I do not understand the Poison Lizard AI some of the time. Look at that, though. The Eagle just kills about eight hogs there, but we're not putting all the hogs on the same tile. We're sprinkling them around the base. Honestly, it wasn't the best hog deployment because we've had, like, 15 of them die, but he just refuses to put all of them into one basket, not putting all his hogs in one basket. I don't know what the term for basket in terms of hog rider would be. We'll just we'll just use it as it is. And the the base is gone. 
And we're swagging another spell, which is quite tough to do with this army, but he's done in a, a few attacks so far. Really nice attack here. I like the early RC start, but I've got a better example of that for you in the next attack. All right, I wanted to come in halfway through this attack. So as you can see, he's queen charged the town hall, flame fling at that side, and his king has died on this side. So... There is currently no defensive heroes up on the base, but if you look at the back end here, this is an extremely high damage zone of the base. Four bows, two multis, and a rage tower, plus the eagle as well. And uh, if you kind of spammed hogs from over here, th like they might split either way, and I've got a feeling you wouldn't be able to hang on to your warden ability long enough for them to reach this area. So what does ABD do here? Well, because there's no defensive heroes, right? You don't actually have to send your RC with the Hog Riders. Generally, I'd recommend it because the Hog Riders end up being a really nice tank for the RC. But instead, he's going to send his RC straight through the middle of the base and spam the Hogs straight into the bottom. And look at this. He's got a Rage spell of his own there. And look at these raged up invincible hogs our rc is chilling in the core of the base we freeze the multi out of the rage there is a giant bomb there which hurts and look at how wrecked this is now would have this been a triple if he spanned the hogs from where the rc was probably but i think this right here shows the perfect example of when to use your rc separate she does end up dying but she just made the pathing so nice for the hogs. Dealt with two scatter shots and the eagle to help them out. And all they had to do was go through that tiny compartmentalized area of the base. And hogs do that so well. I am so sorry, Rocky. I genuinely am just... You got hit by the number one player in the world, my friend. And, uh... That is always going to be content, particularly when it's Hog Rider. Same to you as well, TK. Sorry, I know your base got hit a few uh, replays ago. Sorry, man. Not much you can do. The content train lives on, and if you want to see the best Legends League footage, it's just on this channel, unfortunately. Now, ABD coming in with the kind of standard approach you see here. You use the Queen in the middle, the King on one side, and the... Uh, the flame flinger on the other normally actually i'm just going to pause it right now because something cool is about to happen normally you use the flame flinger on the top side and the king on the channel side but with the with this air bow here the flame flinger wouldn't have got much value whereas look at this flame flinger now it's kind of chilling all these defenses here now he is trying to get the town hall down, as we've seen earlier. Hogs don't do well when the town hall is still up. You can triple, but they don't do well. But have a look at this wall break. So the first one goes up to this wizard tower, because if that wizard tower is up, it can actually draw a wall break. Second wall break goes for this wall, because wall breakers love weakened walls. It's so stupid. But this is why we bring four wall breakers. There we are. Waits until the cannon is down. Then the wall breaker goes straight off to that bomb tower junction. And we are set. We've got a really nice path into the town hall here. And this town hall will go down. Unfortunately, so will our healers. This poison tower effect is quite strong. It, it is, really does a lot of damage. Even to uh, new level healers that get got like the smallest of HP buffs I've seen from memory. Now, we're going to pause it yet again. I apparently love pausing the video because I love educating you all. Now... I'm sure a lot of you probably would have spammed in the hogs like this, but why is it better to come this way? Well, you can just target the bigger, badder defenses early on. If you come this way, it takes you quite a while to get to this scatter shot and the air bow. Whereas we come like this, the pathing is really predictable. We can target uh, at least two different defenses at once and the expo will go down and we'll just get them moving like a wave around the base in that L shape which is exactly what you want so let's roll the tape hogs coming in queen will just get the town all down the flame flinger actually helps does it no probably not but let's watch the hogs because that is what we are all here for we've got one rage left I don't think that's our rage i genuinely can't tell maybe it was our rage it's so perfectly placed on the rage tower i couldn't tell you i don't think that's our rage though uh sorry i do think that is our rage but i want you to look at this look at how low hp all of our hogs are if this was pre-update every single one of those hogs is dead because they wouldn't have had enough hp but this i think it was 150 to 170 extra hp with this new hog upgrade is crazy and when you bring these rage spells it just means you have those rage hogs up for just a little bit longer and it's proving to be just enough and i i, 
I honestly at this stage would not be surprised to be, see a hog HP nerf. Not a big nerf, but just enough. Because look, they're, they're barely alive there and we're not even using a heal spell. Like, hogs were meant to be used with heals, but ABD showing here that uh, you don't need the heal spells for the hogs. Bring the rage spells instead and they will run over the base before they die. All right, we're going to come in halfway through this again because I really want to show you uh, why hogs are insanely strong. So, same approach here on a box base. We go queen in this side. Instead, this time we go the king on the town hall side and the flame flinger over here because the, there's just great flame flinger value over there. But I want to focus on this. So, look, this is why you can't always rely on your king to get the town hall because all it takes is a uh, single inferno, a couple of skeleton traps, and look at this. The town hall is going to stand. Queen is a... Uh, doing okay in the middle but she actually will go down shortly she's already used her ability and uh yeah there goes the rage tower so what are we gonna do we're gonna go hogs straight into the town hall without a freeze we've already lost like five hogs but they go into the town hall here and uh are they going to make it out look at this we pull that double giant bomb just in time we send a few hogs across i like that but yeah, look, our hogs have taken a fair bit of damage, and there's no way for them to recover that damage. No heal spell or anything. They're just going to have to push through the base. The scatter shot locks onto our hogs as well. We just lost like five of them, but the rage spell uh, works really nicely. The hogs are still doing a thing, and they're just going to get this done. Now, the healed up yetis do a little bit of work, but I mean... This is quite ridiculous. So the RC, this is why hogs are really nice. Because the RC just never takes damage. She only just pops her ability now. She's going to get this down. She will not get the bomb tower down. But the baby drag will finish off the rest. And I think the fact that this tripled shows that hogs are probably a little too strong. And to make sure you use them yourselves. Particularly now that there isn't a lot of spring traps set up to stop hogs. Generally you're seeing spring traps used to stop hogs. Uh, Headhunters or uh, super clone, uh, super archers that are cloned. But yeah, let me know in the comments below. What did you think of this video? Will you give Queen Charge Hogs a go? Will you bring a heal spell? Or are you, are you going to bring the extra rage slash freeze or skeleton spell? If you want to see some more quality Legends content, we'll link Stars doing his final attacks before the update on the left. We'll have more Legends League uh, content coming soon though. Don't you worry about that because this update has changed everything.